this is to millennial women and it also references about millennial men which is an adult person age 40 and under okay which is the part from my generation I'm age 61 uh, I am from the baby boomer generation this is to the women of the millennial now a lot of the feminists from my generation you know that were age 18 on average let's say between 1972 and 1976 these women mostly if they got their 40 quarters they can get their full ss benefits like uh, you know if they become disabled or at around age 62 to age 66 but then you figure the millennial women age 40 and under uh, that may not be the case those benefits may not even exist anymore uh, which is something that's going to have to be considered so what you think is advanced new age time can might mean you're going to be that 50 to 70 year old woman uh, on a walker or with a walker cane that isn't going to have any means that is going to be out there on those damn streets but I know most of you you're sitting around playing with text uh, cell phones texting like this all the time like a bunch of idiots and that uh, plays a big part on the economic inflation problems of today because without production eventually the money from the source you know meaning federal reserves government whatever you want to call it eventually that's going to be cut off because it doesn't return back any avenue nothing earned it's same as uh, college loans these loans are never paid back nor is any interest earned on the money by the capital money uh, system of the United States so it's all total loss it's all total uh, write-off it adds to the uh, trillion dollars of country US debt to dollars because it, it was money handed out that produced no no production and um, yeah, I know a lot of you might say something about me uh, smoking cigarettes. Well, let me tell you something. At age 61, you won't be as healthy as I am, the way that you are headed. You will not be as healthy as I am. So uh, don't, don't think that you can put me under or look above me you know based on your brainwashing but by the way I don't drink most of you do though even the women drink as much as the the men do today but this is to the women of the millennial many of you may think you can go back to what your grandmother would have had or maybe even your mother in some cases and have that man in that home well I'm sorry to startle you but this is time for wake-up call to you women you can't go back to something that doesn't exist anymore because you figure okay a man like me I'm 61 I was born in 1956 if I was looking for a woman to die and I was wanting to have children through a woman today and buy my first home today okay I would understand exactly how to do it and if she shared that same committed type thinking and chose to do the same okay I would know how to play that role and be a part of that role for that particular goal but a man you figure that is 20 years my junior you figure a 41 year old man okay um, first let's take me again when I was six years of age I saw a mother and other friends mothers in the neighborhood they would have on a dress they would be cooking in the kitchen and they would be home all day 
So I know what family orientation and love in an organized relationship, family orientation is. I know what it is. And, and I know what was uh, required of it. Because even as a child back then, I could see how my parents both compromised with one another. And they were both committed. They had to be. They had to take life totally seriously. But, uh, all right, you take a man age 40 and under. When he was six years old, here's what he saw. He was living in an apartment. His mother was walking back and forth in this living room at an apartment. And uh, she's saying, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for money. I guess I'm going to have to get that son of a bitch, that damn daddy of yours. I'm going to put that son of a bitch in jail. And then some other bitch would come over that lived in the apartments or her sister or a co-worker and say, yeah, that's what I had to do to mine. I had to call the attorney general's office and put his bud in jail. Okay, this is what those boys saw. So, so those, through those boys' eyes and through their soul, their heart, their mind, they never saw what I saw as a boy. They never experienced it. So what it is, they had to grow from that point and they had to mold to those conditions for which they were forced to mold to those conditions the best that they could possibly do simply because they existed. And, uh, but today, if a woman, I want to go back and be, live the life my grandmother or mom lived, well, I'm sorry, honey, you're not going to be able to do it. Because, see, that man in your age range, whether he's 20, 30, 40, or maybe even 50, uh, he wasn't molded that way mentally. He doesn't know how to do that. He would have to be totally re-educated with something that he's not familiar with, that he never saw it, he never experienced it. Maybe in rare cases, but the numbers, the percentages, it would be only maybe one male in a thousand might have that ability for 999 other available females. So what you women's live, if you want to turn around, let's say around 1985, there could have been a chance you could have gone back to what was. But where we're at right now in the year 2017, you can't go back to what people don't know of in your own generation. You can't. And even if you go find a man like me that's age 61, uh, we're not going to want to produce children from you. We don't have the energy to raise up one, two, three, four kids. We don't have that energy because, see, we already lived that section phase of our life. And we've gone on to other things to where there, we are parentless individuals and we're planning on the next phase of our life, okay? Because we've already retired from that other life. We had our full fill of it. We lived it, okay? So you're not going to be able to go back to that. Uh, in other words, you can never regain the 50s or 60s again. You can't. Because there's been two, there's been three 20 year old age uh, generations as of now, basically, you know, since that point, or 2.5 actually, you know, based on the last uh, 50 years. Uh, and you can't get what is not there from your own generation because it doesn't exist. Uh, those of us that know what marriage is, uh, how to love someone and to commit with someone, we were not molded into other avenues in life to be enemy to the wife and the wife to be enemy to, to us to where uh, her role is to brag about how she's going to have the man put in jail if his ass doesn't pay her child support. You know? That's all you women's children have heard. That's the only thing they know. They don't know what is love and warmth, the family and home. They don't know that. To 
get an opinion and support from both the father and mother. They, they don't know that. So here's the underlying result. Until that can be regained at some point, all your asses are going to have to go to work and work now whether you like it or not. Now you're stuck with that. You're stuck with it. Because you take me, any girl can look at me, oh God, I don't know what I'm going to do, my car is broke now. I'm going to look back at her and I'm going to say, go to work, honey. Go to work, get a job. This isn't to be sarcastic or revenge, it's just a fact of life. Women created that reality for themselves, so if they fail it, um, we can only look at them and say, uh, pick the tab back up and work with it, baby. So now you women are going to have to work. You can never have family at home again. You might can have an imitation version of that, but that man is not going to be like the man from my generation. He can't because he had to self-build himself differently. You know, it's sort of like that's not putting him down mentally or spiritually. You know, you know, it's sort of like this. My generation did not have to uh, be involved with World War II or World War I before that. So I am mentally molded different from that generation and I am going to perceive and see things differently. Okay, I'm going to be a somewhat more passive man than that generation was before me. Okay, then you take, I am the middle income individual and have been slightly above the blue collar individual all during my life. Okay, I cannot possibly perceive and see things like a guy from my generation that he had rich parents and he never had to go get a job at Winchell Donuts or Kentucky Fried Chicken like I had to when I was 18. See, I cannot see life the way he would. And I will not look down on as many people as that guy from my generation that was raised in a, a sheltered bubble. Because I know what it's like to be in a lesser position myself. You see what I mean? Like if you're uh, raised in a life of being a blue collar, you can understand the tragedy, emotions, and situations of those people. But if you was raised rich, your ass does not know what those people go through. Because you weren't molded to have to live that type of reality. And your men today, age 40 and under, they had to mold to a defense category that the woman had all the rights and that the uh, police were going to put him in jail and that all judges are against him. See, he knows this. It's born and bred into him. And basically, it's good that he is that way because actually, for any man to get married, he, uh, he would have to be a fool because there's nothing in marriage for men. But uh, anyway, what you women have done, you purchase yourself a ticket to hell. Because you take right now, any 20 year old girl, even if she's got rich parents, she's going to have to get out there. And she's got another 40 years at least on top of that, she's going to have to get in the car every fucking morning. Go to work, do what other people to tell them. How in the hell is that freedom? How is that freedom? I mean, that's quite the contrary. Having to live a 40-year existence doing what other people tell you to do, only so you can take the, for 40 years of your life, paying an overpriced mortgage or paying high-ass rent, that's freedom? Well... If you believe so, but once you get a taste of it long enough, maybe you women will figure out you didn't win. You didn't win because men don't actually need you. I mean, since my last divorce in 2007, it's been 10 years now. I haven't missed having a woman. I don't miss it. Actually, 
I've saved more money. My credit score is uh, 832 at present. <laughs> I've got three cars by four. I didn't have all that when I was married because, you know, um, uh, of her, her problem. She w was not conservative. And she wasted a lot of money. But, you know, that's another subject. That was our indifferences and her being an, in, an ignorant person that did not know how to budget. But that can be a male or female. But um, anyway, women, get ready to, to work for the rest of your fucking life. I mean, I'm being direct with my metaphor language uh, so, so that you will know that this is real. I mean, uh, there's no magic treasure chest, I mean, and there's no going back to 1960. Because the people from 1960, I mean, most of those people are in their 80s now that were the Ma, Ma and Pa from the year 1960. And their offspring, which is me, Beaver Cleaver's parents, I'm the offspring of that generation, we lived it, but then we're still living, but, but we are retired from it. We're not in that phase of life anymore. But anyway, uh, take care, and I hope my words help you to wake up and see reality.